The Type 055 class destroyer is the latest and most powerful guided missile surface combatant currently entering service with the People's Liberation Army Navy. These ships are larger than preceding vessels and are classed as a cruiser by NATO members. These ships have been traced back to an idea from back in the 1960s. The People's Liberation Army Navy, or for short, the Chinese Navy, wanted a large destroyer pretty much from its conception. And by the mid-1970s, a concept was drawn up, codenamed the Type 055. But this wouldn't progress far. The project was cancelled in 1983, and the codename would be shelved for later use. The reasoning for this? Well, China lacked the technical know-how to build a vessel of this calibre. Fast forward a couple of decades, and the Type 055 would be resurrected into a form that we see today. The development of this class would appear in 2014, with a large static superstructure being built near Wuhan, in the guise similar to that of a Type 45 atop Portstone Hill in Portsmouth. It is likely the design process would have started in 2010, and the authorization for the project around a year or two later for 16 ships. These new ships are in the region of about 13,000 tonnes, making them the second largest surface combatant in operation today, bar aircraft carriers and landing ships. The ships are 180 metres long, 20 metres in beam, and are 6.6 .6 metres in draft. The propulsion comes from an all-gas propulsion system, consisting of four gas turbines and six turbine generators, propelling the ship's two shafts for a speed of 18 knots at cruise speed and a top speed of 30 knots. These ships have a range of 5,000 nautical miles at cruise speed and about 1,800 at top speed, but an additional factor to the endurance is limited by the ship's complement of 320 officers and enlisted personnel. The overall design is designed around a multi-purpose vessel designed to provide anti-air defence for the Chinese carrier strike groups, as well as operating as a flagship for smaller surface action groups, utilising a C2 capability. Like the preceding Luyang 2 and Luyang 3s, these ships are to include a low RCS hull and superstructure, with a large forward superstructure to use the Dragonite Acer radar, or the Active Electronically Scannable Array as well as having a fully integrated main mast. The armament for these ships would be a main armament of 112 vertical launch cells, with 64 launches forward and 48 amidships. These are designed to take a multitude of either the HQQ-9 surface-to-air missile, the YJ-18 or CSSN-13 shredder anti-ship cruise missile, the CJ-10 land attack cruise missile, and finally, anti-submarine warfare missiles, utilising a torpedo and a rocket booster. The secondary armament would consist of one HPJ-38 130mm main gun, one HPJ-11 30mm close-in weapon system, one 24-cell HQ-10 short-range surface-to-air missile system, and finally, two triple YU-7 anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. The organic sensor fits for these ships is as the following, however it is an incomplete list. The Dragon I-4 multifunctional dual band Acer radar, Cage navigational India band radar, TR-47 Bravo target tracking radar, as well as additional fixed arrays, EW equipment, and a bow and towed array sonar system. The ships are helo capable. They have a facility for two internal hangars for either a Z9 Harbin or Z18 multi roll helicopter. These ships also have a large flight deck aft. The ships are to be constructed by the Zhangnan Shipyard and the Dalan Shipyards in the north and the east part of China. Out of the eight ships currently under construction or have been commissioned, hulls 1, 2 and 5 are being built, or have been built, by the Zhangnan shipyard in Shanghai. Whereas in Shanghai, 
holes 3, 4, 6 and 8 have been laid down or been built by the Dalan shipyards. Hole 7 hasn't had her shipyard confirmed as of yet. Hulls 1 to 4 have actually been named. These are the ships being the Nanshang, the Lhasa, Dailan and Anshan. Nanshang would be the class leader to be laid down in December 2014, taking three and a half years to launch, where she would spend about two years in the fitting out stages, with sea trials following on. During this period, she would be shown to the public during the 70th anniversary for the People's Liberation Army Navy in the first half of 2020. She'd be commissioned on the 12th of January 2020 into the Northern Territory Navy with the pennant number 101. She would start working up in this period after commissioning, whilst slowly integrating herself into the Laoning Carrier Strike Group. This would take place in 2020 and 2021, with brief stops in port to avoid the odd typhoon. In August of 2021, Nanshang formed a task group around her to conduct an out-of-area deployment through the Sea of Japan, the Sea of Otosk, and into the Pacific Ocean. The ships she joined up with were the Liu Yang-3, the Goyang, and a Fuki-class tanker, and at points, a Dongdao-3 class AGI. By the October of that year, she would join Russian Pacific Fleet units for Joint Sea 2021 exercise. This would see the Velyag, the Admiral Pantelev, the Alda Zazenzhepov, Marshal Krilov, and more vessels on both sides join up for a multinational exercise. In December, she would then sail for a four-day anti-submarine warfare exercise before rejoining the Lao Ning in the middle of the month. She would remain at sea over the Christmas period, arriving back at her naval base on the 10th of January 2022. Lhasa is hull 2. She'd be built by the Zhang Nang shipyards, with a keel being laid around late 2014, early 2015 with the launch taking place on April 28th, 2018. She'd be ready for sea by 2021, where she sailed to the Hainan Island alongside the new Type 075 landing helicopter assault ship, the Hainan. In this photo, she was observed with the pennant number 102. She'd be commissioned on the 7th of March 2021 into the Northern Territory Navy, and over 2021, she has been observed working out over this period. The destroyer Dalan would be the third ship in the class. She was laid down near the same date as the Lhasa. Launched on the 3rd of July 2018, she took two years to fit out and spent a few months conducting sea trials before commissioning on April 23rd 2021 at the Yulin Naval Base in the Southern Territory Navy. Alongside this commissioning, she was commissioned with the People's Liberation Army Navy ship Hainan, the lead ship of the Type 075s, and a Type 094 class ballistic missile submarine. She commissioned with the pennant number 105. Anshan is hull number 4. She'd be laid down alongside Dailan in Dailan Shipyard, launching on the same day and taking a few months longer to commission until she was commissioned into the Northern Territory Navy on November 11th, 2021, in a rather quiet ceremony. Currently, open source information suggests that there is a modified variant of the Type 055 class Super Destroyer currently in works as the Type 055 Bravo. As of January 25th, 2022, Four ships are in the construction phase or sea trials, four are currently in active service, with two being modified with a slightly different funnel. 